Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of my own Let's Play series. You guys have been asking for a Let's Play series for a very, very long time now, and I've always been really hesitant to do it as, like, I've really basically never done Let's Plays before. I did a GA stuff a long time ago, but yeah, that's a whole different thing. But, um, thanks to my live streaming recently, and thanks to the wonderful community I've got over at Twitch, I finally feel like I'm ready to do a Let's Play series for you guys now. Only thing with this uh, Let's Play is it's going to be quite heavily modded. I'll have a list of all the mods up on the video screen now, also the uh, description. And what's worth noting is that all of these mods I've installed for a Let's Play series, I actually installed about a year ago, so I do not remember what half of them even do. And on top of that, not only have I not played the campaign of Spore in a couple years now, but I've never ever played modded. So this is going to be a very, a very new experience for me, as well as you guys. But as always, I hope you enjoy the video. And before we get started, I just want to say, if there's anything I can do to improve the whole Let's Play thing, please let me know. At the end of the day, I'll do this for you guys. But moving forward, let us begin uh, my very first ever modded Let's Play. And as always, we'll start on the South Stage. And I prefer setting as a carnival, it's just easier. Uh, can I do themes? I cannot, because I'm not online. Bugger. Uh, and doesn't matter about the name. And now for the cinematic, I'm sure you guys have seen a million times before. Uh, maybe not the glitchy sun though. <laughs> There it is, our lovely planet. And there we go, into the cell stage. Now like I said earlier, I cannot remember what half of my mods do. I know I have some crazy stuff for the cell stage, but I have no idea what to expect. So, let's get started. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, just a little cell, instantly meet. Om nom nom. And, okay, that's already something very weird. Did you guys see that on the right? And down there? A... Beeblum. Okay, that's an interesting looking cell. Obviously on the modded ones. Uh, right, good. Already grown. And in case anyone's wondering, as I'm probably going to get these comments quite a lot, uh, this transparent skin for my cell is just a result of having a, um, a slightly better PC to, play, to run Spore on. High graphics, you know, all that kind of stuff. My PC is not exactly amazing, but that is what you get when you have... Oh my god. Uh... Oh, okay, there's spiders. Oh my god. Alright then. So yeah, this is um, the cell stage modded. <laughs> um, I'm kind of wishing I was a herbivore instead now, because I don't think I can kill any of these. Let's try it. That spider looks surprisingly um, non-hostile. Okay, it's not. I've got our first part. Oh my god, that is just absolutely disturbing. <laughs> Anyone who's afraid of spiders, I apologise. Is that really not aggressive either? Okay then. So yeah, let's um, let's eat some more spiders as a cell because that makes oh my god, because that makes a lot of sense. That big um, animal there. Wait, what is that? A ancient horror in the top right. Bloody hell. Quite impressed that it's ancient because during I've only just started the game, but hey ho. Oh my god, is that is that aggressive? It probably is. What on earth? That has Galactic Adventures parts. That's a captain. Okay, well let's let's fight. Come on, mate. Let's have some. Okay, apparently I can't have some. <laughs> okay, this is actually quite interesting. It definitely does make the um, cell stage just a little bit more exciting. Like, in my opinion, the fun begins in the- Oh my god. A bat boy. Right then. Yes, in my opinion, um, the game kind of really begins at the creature stage. I'm not a fan of the cell stage. At least not after playing it, like, a hundred times. Oh, are you kidding me? 
Right, sorry about that guys, I just had a phone call. But anyway, back with the let's play. That will hopefully- oh, what? Okay then. <laughs> Bad time for a phone call apparently. Yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. Um, right then, I'll just buy a couple more of these things, get about 30 DNA points if I can. Maybe 25. And then I'll call on a mate and yeah, get busy. Actually, I'm just going to do it now, it's far too slow. And <laughs> get an attack from, all, from every corner. Right then. Oh, okay. So apparently the edit is 3D now. Alright then. And very foggy. <laughs> very, very foggy. Right then, well, I guess let's make something a bit crazy. How big can we make this spine? Oh, very big. Hmm. Okay, so it's like a proper full creature side spine. So I've got no idea what we're going to do for this. I'll just do something crazy for now. And we can think of like actual creatures that we can uh, evolve later on. But for now, let's just have this um, <laughs> this weird thing on the go. Make the head really big as well. Can I make it look like a tadpole? A very bizarre tadpole. Looks nothing like a tadpole. And what I'll do, how many uh, DNA do I have? I've got 20 on me now. Can I have both of these? Wait, they're not cost? <laughs> okay, they don't cost. Um, well, fortunately, this is a modded Let's Play, so it pretty much means cheatiness. So let's just go crazy, I guess. Oh, that's as big as I can make it, though. That's a bit of a shame. Actually, let's not put those there. Let's put uh, a couple of spikes on the tail. Is that as long as I can make it? It is, yeah. Okay. Just make the... Oh, wait. Now it costs. So, the spikes cost, but the uh, flagella and the mouths don't. Nor did the eyes. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's put a couple more mouths there. Make them look like... Um, flagella. The... Come on. Give me a rotators. Can I rotate it, please? There we go. Anyone who watches the streams are probably used to me complaining about uh, certain little things like that. Give it some eyes, some big old cute little green eyes. It's probably going to look very strange in the actual stage, but hey, modded. Why not? And what else do we want? So since, yeah, since I can only add um, the three of these, I'll put these on the front here. So it's got defence at the front, and in the back as well. And can I make it any bigger? Yeah, that's about as big as I can make it. Let's um, decorate it, if you will, the tail. And now it's getting horribly foggy again. I don't know why, why that is. Yep, something like that. Since I have the budget to use all these parts, I may as well use them. And the colour scheme. Um, what should we do for the colour scheme? I'm not really sure. I actually know what half of these even look like. <laughs> I don't know, let's go with... Let's go with that for now, let's make it a nice uh, deep blue. And for the name of the species, I will just call it something random for now. I don't know. Let's call it... Let's call it Matter. Because that's what it just had a second ago. Let's call it that. If you guys have any um, interesting names for the creature, or whatever this involves into, then feel free to post them down in the comments below. Oh my god, that looks very strange. Oh, that's more unlike it. The movement's awkward as hell, but at least I can move. You bite me? I'm gonna bite you now. Chomp chomp. This is more, I like it. And I've got another part, it's got the jet. God, I'm just an absolute eating machine now. And that is a feathered creature in the cell stage because apparently it exists. Oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, this is a joke. <laughs> oh, but to be fair, I'm glad that this is uh, taking quite or becoming uh, a lot faster now because I do not like the stage. It was fun the first time, not so much fun the next, you know, hundred or so times. <laughs> and with um, with the millions of support that's right, been done on the internet, I'm sure you guys have seen all this already. Let's, can, can I kill this? I'm pretty sure I did just do a little bit of damage to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're we are damaging it. Come on. Big, strange, ear-covered thing. What is that in the background? That's just giant grey mass. Come on. Yep, when we killed it and we can't even eat it. Well then. But yes, um... For this mod that allows the creatures in the in the cell stage, I can't remember the name of the mod. I do believe it's something like Davo's Cell. What on earth is that? Okay. Anyway, I do believe it's called like Davo's um, Cell Stage Overhaul, or maybe it's Creatures in the Cell Stage. Unlock all the parts. Oh, cool. I can't fully remember. But like I said, I'll have a list of the mods in the uh, in the comments. Sorry, in the description below. I will get better at it, I promise. <laughs> oh, this definitely is interesting though. What on earth is that to my right? Whatever that is, that is very, very big. Can I see its face? Oh my god, it really is. Whoa! <laughs> okay, there's, there's quite a few of them. I'm just gonna keep on moving then. And there's another one. So yeah. And there's an even bigger thing in the background. What on earth? This just keeps on going, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I, I did want to experience this modded. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is absolutely crazy, the self stage. I think it's safe to say, let me just quickly check. We're going down the carnival route? Yes, we are. That's good. I prefer going to carnival in this hell stage. Unlocks, uh, in my opinion, anyway, it unlocks better looking heads for the creature stage. Since when you're playing the creature stage, or let me rephrase, when you're playing the cell stage and you progress into the creature stage, you're only given the um, heads of your diet. So you have to kind of plan a little bit early. But having multiple heads definitely does help a lot. And we are now finished already. <laughs> that was very, very fast. I know I didn't get any speed achievement, but I wasn't exactly working for that. How many DNA points do I have? 45. Okay. Um, and I'm not even sure how long it's actually taken for me to do all this. But I have unlocked all the parts, so I may as well progress. If it will let me. Come on. There we go. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I believe now we've got onto the creature stage, right? Or is it the editor first? Okay, it's the editor. Right, and I have... Oh! Okay, I really do have everything unlocked. How many DNA do I have? Okay, so there is a budget on these. Is there a budget on the other parts? No. No, okay, they're all free, so I have a bit of freedom then to go crazy. We may as well just reset this completely. And I'll probably speed this part of the creation up in the video.
Right, and there you guys go. <laughs> I know it's um, just a little bit over the top, just, just a tad, you know, but it's what I do. <laughs> the parts are free, so I may as well take advantage and make something just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, here's our little cell. I don't know how on earth it's a cell. I guess now it's a creature, some sort of weird aquatic thing. I've got no idea. But here it is. And like I said earlier on, if you guys have any names for it, let me know down below. Such a wonderful little sound for our scary little thing. Sounds quite adorable, actually. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Well, that's a lot of them. What the hell? Huh, okay, that's pretty cool. Normally there's about, like, five at most, but like I said earlier, I'm playing modded. I have no idea what half the mods do, so I guess we have a pretty damn big little, um, little clan. And what on earth? It's a bloody... Like a graveyard over here. Okay. The Kasai Rex from Dadotamond. Awesome dinosaur crates, by the way. Fantastic. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's just eat some of those. And let us, I don't know, let's make some friends. And I say friends, let's um, eat them. Wait, what, what the hell just happened? <laughs> okay, I guess the spit is different. Let's try that again, shall we? If I can get in range. Wow, there's a lot of them. Come on, let me, let me reach it. That's the alpha, isn't it? Or is it, that's the alpha. Okay, apparently my spit is an explosive. Right, seems legit. And I was an alpha, so I wasn't meant to get like additional rewards for that, but I guess... I guess not. I don't know why that didn't actually happen. Let's kill... where is it? Let's kill this one. With our wondrous spit. <laughs> oh my god, this is already silly. Did I get any DNA? F um, not DNA even. Did I get any of the um, extra parts for that? I guess not. Let's kill this as well then, I guess. Got quite a bit more health than I do, but apparently it does absolutely zero damage. I may as well just keep on spitting. It's the only thing that's really doing anything substantial. Um, right, so... I guess the creative stage is about the same. Just a lot more. What on earth is over there? Okay, I guess that's another creature with the spitting ability. And there is a... What is that over there? A bunch of very large creatures. I will not be playing this for much longer since... You know, we've only just started. The episode's probably about um, 20 minutes long by now, I guess. So I'll just kill this one more thing. Or kill this one more um, tribe nest thing and then we'll call it a night gotta love the combat and spore though hey i finally got a part i got handibles right then and i see a bone pile over there find a new part to evolve yep done awesome find two more parts to evolve Another mouth, another carnivore mouth, one of my favourite ones. In terms of looks, that is. And another one. One of the dark injections parts. Sweet. Yeah, with uh, the amount of mods I have installed for this, like, a lot of you guys have seen dark injections already. I am kind of dreading unlocking them all, if I even do try to unlock all of them. You guys can see already, I'm getting just tons of mouthpieces. And another one, Jesus. Right, 
I will go and take a look at whatever that giant creature was in the distance. It did not look like an epic. I'll go take a look at that. And then, as I said, we will pause the uh, Let's Play for now and, of course, move on to the next episode. Can I jump? Yeah, I can. Not very well, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, these. I made... I made these, actually. For a Maxis challenge a very long time ago. It's quite funny seeing them in the game. Without any faces. Oh my goodness, with my Sporpedia and how um, messed up my Sporpedia is, I kind of dread some of the creatures we might be spotting. That is Zrin, another creature I've made before from Dark Spore. Okay then. So, like I said, I did see something very large in the distance. I'm trying to spot it. It was around here. Nope. Okay. Let's go and fight these uh, big flaming guys. That's clearly going to be a good idea. Let's give it a go. Oh my god. Okay, I knew I was going to get wrecked. I didn't think I'd get wrecked that hard. <laughs> Don't mess with Zarin. You were killed in battle when wounded. Retreat to your nest to heal. Oh, that I shall. That I shall. And there we are as a little baby once again. Uh, and I am playing with another baby, apparently. Oh, it does look quite cute, though. I quite like this little creature. It'd be interesting to see this evolve again. Like I said, I've not played a campaign in an extremely long time. So this entire experience is going to be quite interesting. But, um, yeah, I think that is it for now. Like I said before, let me guys uh, let me know, guys, if um, what the name you want for this creature to be. If you want it to be a carnivore, an omnivore, or a herb or more like, if you want it to be a passive, aggressive, or neutral. And yeah, just let me know how you want me to evolve this down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it.